The rainforests of Costa Rica are home to over 50 species of hummingbirds, including the mountain gem, green violet-eared hummingbird, fiery-throated hummingbird, white-throated mountain gem, talamanca, snowcap, green-crowned brilliant, and violet saberwing. We can think of the rainforest in four layers, the forest floor, understory, canopy, and emergent layers. Birds nest at different heights depending on their habitat and diet needs. Since hummingbirds rely on flowers for nectar, and most flowering plants are found in the understory, this is where they build their nests. Their beaks are specialized to reach into flowers to drink nectar, but they occasionally eat small insects as well. They play an important role in pollinating flowers in the rainforest, since it is often wet and rainy, and this makes it difficult for bees to fly. Because they are well adjusted to the warm climate, these birds do not migrate like hummingbirds in North America do. In fact, out of the over 50 species of hummingbirds in Costa Rica, only one species migrates, and that is the ruby-throated hummingbird. The tiny ruby-throated hummingbird makes the roughly 500-mile journey in as little as 20 hours. They arrive in North America between March and May, depending on how north they fly, and begin their journey south to Mexico and Central America in August or September. In the U.S., these birds are common in the South and the Midwest, and you can report sightings using the community-driven migration map in the description below. If you want to be able to watch hummingbirds from your own backyard, you can buy or make a hummingbird feeder. I'm going to show you two cheap and easy designs using small mason jars. Since hummingbirds are attracted to the color red as they associate it with nectar, you'll either need some red plastic, for this I use this plastic binder, or red silk flowers. If you use red plastic as the top, you'll also need a pair of scissors or a knife. If you choose to put fake flowers on top, you'll also need a hot glue gun, a drill or a hammer and nails, and safety glasses. This first method is definitely easier. I start by tracing circles onto red plastic using the top of the lid, and then cutting it out. I check the fit by screwing on the outer circle of the lid. Next, I fold the red circles in half and cut teardrop shapes, like I'm cutting out a paper snowflake. I tried two different designs. Here's how they turned out. I wanted mine to hang from my balcony, so I added some string and some hot glue. For the next design, I wanted to top the mason jars with these silk flowers, so I had to drill a hole in the top. Although, I later realized you could absolutely use the plastic from the first design as the top for the second. I took apart the silk flowers, removed the plastic pieces, and glued the petals back onto the top of the mason jar layer by layer. I also added string to this one to allow it to hang, and this is the finished product. Check the links in the description below for feeding tips and for recipes on non-toxic hummingbird food. Thanks for watching and happy birding!